The early bird catches the worm. This English proverb really works if you want to go shopping in Egypt in quarantine. Let me show you what I have in my purse when I go shopping. Gloves. Spare gloves for the whole family. Spare masks for the whole family. Sanitizer. Tissues. And mobile and the purse. So let's say the new thing for me is sanitizer. I didn't used to take it with me. And all this amount of gloves and masks I never had before in my bag. That's it. I mentioned in my previous videos that Egypt is an evening or night country because of the weather. People prefer to go out in the evening because during the day it's so hot. I'm sorry guys, but if you live in Egypt these days and even though it's hot, you better wake up early in the morning if you want to go shopping. I tried to go shopping on Friday morning. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Friday, day off, 8 o'clock in the morning, I was outside. The streets were empty. I really enjoyed driving. I enjoyed. It was so nice. Streets were empty. I saw horses, donkeys with their carts going to the market, bringing fresh vegetables and fruits. I saw special motorcycles that were carrying also fruits and vegetables to the market. The city was still sleeping. Friday, day off, quarantine. Cairo is asleep. I really enjoyed driving. By the way, if you want to learn how to do it, this is the time when you should go to the streets. I was a bit upset because uh, before going to the supermarket, I checked on the, on the website of Carrefour. It was written that they open at 6 a.m. Uh, when I arrived at 8, it was actually closed. They said that they open at 8.30, so don't go before 8.30 to Carrefour. But when it was finally open and they came, uh, it was really good idea to go early. Uh, the shop was empty, there were very few customers inside, and what made me happy, uh, all, the, all the employees there, all the staff who work in Carrefour, they all wear masks and gloves, so they really care about our safety. And when you enter, they spray alcohol on hands for all the customers. So they care about our safety. However, when I went to some small shops, in some small shops, I went to the dairy shop and shop for spices and shops for nuts and seeds. Um, in some of them, people were wearing masks. However, in some shops, people were still not wearing masks and no one was wearing gloves. I think it's still not Egyptian culture or custom to wear gloves. People are not ready for that. Uh, but as for the customers, I would say 50-50. Yeah, 50% 50 of the customers put on masks, but many of them don't. Maybe because they went early like me and they thought that the place wasn't crowded, so there was no need. So I think when you go early, it's really safe. Uh, because you have less people, so it's worth it. As for the market, it's really nice to go early because, you know, Egyptian markets are usually very crowded places. But early in the morning, uh, again, there were very few customers, and when you have a variety of very fresh fruits and vegetables that were just brought from the gardens or from the fields just now in the morning, like an hour ago, it's really fresh. Plus, keep in mind, the weather is getting hotter and hotter. So when you go shopping early in the morning, it's not that hot. So my advice, wake up early in the morning on Friday or Saturday, finish your shopping, then go home, continue sleeping. Okay, but you will feel safer till we finish this horrible virus. I'm sure when we're back to normal life in Egypt, people will continue going shopping in the evening. I will do the same. I will not go at eight o'clock after the COVID-19 finishes. No, 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 no. Friday morning, it's a time for sleeping. And of course, these days, it's time for watermelons in Egypt. It's around $1 per watermelon. It depends on size. It's from 10 pounds to 25. Really sweet. 
really tasty, so red, so juicy. Mm, I love it. Don't miss it. Go and buy it now. So guys, take care of your health. Be safe. Try to go shopping early. And remember, the early bird catches the worm. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.